Hey, welcome to the channel. Uh, actually, I guess it's afternoon now. Or it could be night where you are. I don't know. Anyway, I made it to Denver. And the truck... The truck's still doing the same check engine light bullshit that it was doing before the CP3 let go, uh, giving me a check engine light for low fuel delivery pressure. I have checked everything, replaced the pump, the lift pump, and the injection pump, and still having the issue. One of the guys I was talking to suggested that I uninstall and then reinstall the tuner and so I did that and I haven't got a chance to drive it yet so we'll have to see how that goes but it still sounds the same it's still got the lopey uh, growling noise at idle so honestly it's one of those problems that just kind of is a thorn in your side and I'm really sick of dealing with it now another suggestion was that possibly the rail pressure sensor was just getting a bad reading and sending that to the computer and telling it that it wasn't going so uh, I think what I'll do next is I'll check the torque on the injector tubes and then from there then I'll possibly replace the pressure sensor so hopefully one of those fixes it it's possible that I need to rephase the pump. Uh, it may not have been exactly right. So that'll be on the checklist next as well. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. Uh, I have trucks to pick up. One of the trucks is not ready. And the other truck is good and ready. So I'm waiting back to see if we're going to switch trucks or I'm going to take the truck not ready and just haul it in the back. So that'll be definitely something that uh, we'll work on here in a little bit. I'm just kind of waiting to see what uh, my dispatch says to do on that. So Dispatch got back with me and gave me the go ahead to get a different truck. So now we're going to go ahead and load this thing up and then I'll mess with the injector tubes later. So. I've just got to do some paperwork and then uh, load them up. Just load them up and roll them out. <laughs> Got done at the bank. Had to run and drop a check off. And now I am headed back over to the trucks to finish loading. I thought I was gonna get out of there and get the trucks loaded a little bit faster and just bring the semi truck over here, but that didn't happen. So I just had to run over here in the pickup real quick. It wasn't too far away, about 15 minutes or so. So now Back to Ryder. I just left it recording when I got into the truck, so. But the lights weren't on, so you couldn't see shit. So, this is Taylor. 
then decided to come down. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Dude, I floored it through that bridge under that bridge earlier. Yeah. The camera was on time lapse instead of instead of regular video, so I got no audio. But I but I got time lapse. Like, like 200 miles. Oh no, it was this one right here. I was passing the AutoZone delivery driver or Napa delivery driver. <laughs> Turned it on hot and I freaking blasted through this at like 75. <laughs> Just a uh, comparison, this is how fast Taylor went through it. Yeah, we went 40, 40, 42. 42 miles an hour. So, anyway, so he came down from Greeley because I finally talked him into it. Mail time. Mail time. So. I got this uh, from my parents, birthday present, but it didn't come in, so now it recently came in. They gave it to me right before I left the house. I just haven't had a chance to open it yet. So let's see what they got in here. Grunt style. This will, will defend. silence for this bumper here like holy shit nice carbon fiber hood bro okay you think it's just a lancer I think you might be right all right so uh, dinner was fantastic I got the Buffalo Blue Burger, and it was awesome. Now we're gonna head back to my truck, and we are going to try to reface the pump. But it's cold, and it's just about snowing, and it's really wet, and it's been raining, so uh, I might puss out on it. I don't know yet. Oh, what's up? what's up? Hey, that was on when I got out here. Here we have a video, a rare video, of Crocky Ty going to get his truck and pull his Crocky truck over here. Eh? Look at him walking all swerving like he's drunk. <laughs> uh, he's going to be pissed when he finds this. But, oh well. <laughs> Maybe it'll end up on his blog. <laughs> Crocky Ty, he put his truck over here, hey? Eh? Look at that beast of a Cummins. So whenever we tried to 
bump the starter and turn the crank to get number one TDC up. What is that? What the fuck is that? Super chip. Let's see if I have a fucking. That's a what? A super chip. Oh, this. you got a super chip? Super duper chip. The super de duper you know, chip? You know, I have this too. No, I didn't know you had a super de duper chip. Let me see if I have any. What? With the tranny then. Oh, any transmission coats? Let's see if I have any coats. It's having shifting problems. So, anyway. So yeah, uh, basically, we took it all apart, thinking that the pump might be out of phase, and it turned out that the pump was actually perfectly phased. And so, we put it back together, and basically the only thing we changed or accomplished was we broke the belt. Which, that belt does have over 65,000 miles on it, so, it's not a big deal. It's probably about time for it to be changed anyway before it breaks and leaves me stranded. So, not a huge deal. We get a new one on it. We're gonna put it on the trailer without a belt, and then I'll get another one tomorrow or the next day or something whenever I get uh, to a town. I have got to do it before I get to uh, Cedar Rapids, though, because or I'm sorry. Council Bluffs though, because I have to drive the truck from Council Bluffs to Cedar Rapids, so it has to be fixed for that. Other than that, I am at a loss uh, as far as this idle condition goes. Um, I guess the next step would be possibly replacing the lift pump. That, I, I honestly have no freaking idea. And none of the professionals or experienced people that I've talked to have any idea either, so. I don't know. Taylor, what's wrong with my truck? What's wrong with my truck? Why does it got a weird idle and long starting time? See? Nobody freaking knows. It's got me stumped. It's got just about every single diesel builder I've talked to stumped. They've got ideas. Stuff that, you know, we can throw money at it until it goes away. But nobody really knows exactly what the hell, so. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to figure it out. Just keep plugging away at it. One thing after another, eventually it'll get fixed. Did you figure out what, did you have a code? PO602. A PO602? What is a PO602? PO602 is a fuel and calibration error code. It's just a nuisance code. It can be clear when you return to stop. That's so that's nothing. Saying. Any other codes? Nope, just it's just the one DTC. So, all right guys, well, that about wraps it up for tonight. Uh, it's getting late and we still gotta uh, transfer some fuel and get the pickup loaded. So if you guys like what you saw, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on the little notification bell. And I will catch you guys on down the road.